Hey guys, it's Tyler here from PVS Performance Tuning. Uh, I've got something a little different today. Uh, we've got our um, Project i30N. Um, it's a Gen 2. We've gone for the DCT version, a bit of a daily driver, but um, we've been doing all our R&D on that. I was really interested to see how much um, power we can actually push through the, the new 8-speed uh, DCT transmission. And look, honestly, so far it's been really good. We have found the limits of it, which is fantastic. So around the 22 pound mark is what we've uh, done our custom tune package around that. Um, anything more than that, we found it starting to slip. You may not feel it on the road, but we definitely feel it on the dyno. So I prefer just to keep them the way they are. Um, 20, we do have a, um, a tune packages for, to run a bit more boost, especially if you've got a manual, it'll take it. It'll go up to 24 pound. Um, but DCT, we've sort of found around that 22, 21, 22 seems to be its nice safe limit. Um, but compared to standard, it's a massive difference. So when we bought this thing, we ran it in and put a few Ks on it. And then we did some power runs and we we're getting, let, let's call it 180, 179, 180 kilowatt standard and about 352 Newton meters of torque. And that's at the, at the hub. So now we're able to get, um, got it up to 454 Newton meters and we've got it to 227 or just shy of 228 kilowatts. So that's a huge difference. It's on the, on the better side of almost 50 kilowatt, like 47 kilowatt, which is pretty massive. So um, traction's almost a problem, it's, it's that good. So yeah, so it's fantastic. So we've been really happy. Um, and all our AFR numbers are great. We've been to the drags and all those sorts of things. So haven't had any issues there. We played around with all that stuff to try and optimize the tune, but we've come up with a nice safe um, package um, for, for that side of things as well. So yeah, and back to the, uh, also we've got uh, packages for the gen, uh, gen ones as well. And also we can do a turbo upgrades. You can do a gen two turbo on the gen one. Um, you probably read a lot of forums. There's a lot of people already doing it, but we also have um, a good, nice, reliable packages for those. And honestly, they virtually are exactly the same um, as what these end up power-wise, pretty much. So um, they do respond a little bit better to an intercooler because the Gen 1 intercoolers are a little bit smaller than the Gen 2. But aside from that, they're, they're a very similar platform. Anyway, I just thought I'd keep you up to speed. We're going to do a few more videos and we're going to do some track work and all that sort of stuff and throw up some track videos as well uh, coming up very soon. And um, yeah, so if, uh, if you've got any questions or info, by all means, uh, message our Facebook page or call the workshop. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll keep you posted on any updates.